From its founding, the United States of America has been a beacon of freedom, democracy, and opportunity. But how did this great nation come to be? The road to the formation of the USA was a long and tumultuous one, filled with conflict, compromise, and perseverance. From the earliest European settlements to the American Revolution and the drafting of the Constitution, the creation of the United States of America was a transformative period in world history. In this article, we will explore the events leading up to the formation of the USA and examine the key figures and moments that shaped this great nation. Join us as we take a journey through time and discover the fascinating story of how the United States of America was born. The Creation of the United States of America a brief history of events leading to its formation. The creation of the United States of America is a complex story that spans decades and involves multiple political and social movements. Its origins can be traced back to the early colonial period, when the first English settlements were established in North America. Over time, these settlements grew and developed into a distinct society, characterized by a unique culture and political philosophy that would ultimately lead to the formation of the USA. One. Colonial Period, 1607 to 1775. The colonial period of American history began with the establishment of Jamestown, Virginia, in 1607. Over the next century and a half, English colonies were established up and down the east coast of North America, including Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Virginia. These colonies were characterized by a diversity of cultures and social structures, but they all shared a common connection to England and a sense of being part of the British Empire. During this time, tensions began to rise between the colonies and Britain, as the colonists began to chafe under British rule. This was due in part to the economic policies of Britain, which sought to exploit the colonies for their resources and trade. Additionally, the colonists were unhappy with the lack of representation in British government, as they were subject to taxes and laws passed without their consent. 2. The Road to Revolution, 1765-1776 The tensions between the colonies and Britain came to a head in the 1760s and 1770s, as Britain attempted to assert greater control over the colonies. This led to a series of protests and rebellions, including the Boston Tea Party, in which colonists dumped British tea into Boston Harbor in protest of British taxes. In response, Britain passed a series of laws designed to assert its authority over the colonies, including the Stamp Act and the Townsend Acts. These laws further inflamed tensions between the colonies and Britain, ultimately leading to the outbreak of the American Revolution in 1775. 3. The Declaration of Independence and the Birth of the USA, 1776-1783 The American Revolution was a long and bloody conflict that lasted for several years, but it ultimately resulted in victory for the colonists. In 1776, the Continental Congress, a group of representatives from the colonies, issued the Declaration of Independence, declaring their independence from Britain and establishing the United States of America as a new nation. The war continued for several more years, but in 1783, Britain officially recognized the independence of the USA, ending the conflict and establishing the USA as a new nation on the world stage. 4. The Early Years of the USA, 1783-1800 The creation of the USA was a revolutionary event that had a profound impact on the world. It established a new model of government based on popular sovereignty and individual liberty, and inspired political movements around the world. In the early years of the USA, the new government faced many challenges, including establishing a functioning government, dealing with economic and social issues, and expanding its territory. Despite these challenges, the USA emerged as a major world power, one that would go on to shape the course of world history in the centuries that followed. Conclusion The creation of the USA was a complex and multifaceted event that involved many political and social movements. From the early colonial period to the American Revolution and the birth of the new nation, the events leading up to the formation of the USA were characterized by tension, conflict, and ultimately, the triumph of democratic ideals. The legacy of the USA is still felt today, as it remains a major world power and a symbol of freedom and democracy around the world. The creation of the United States of America, the causes of the American Revolution. The American Revolution was a defining moment in the history of the United States of America, marking the country's break from British colonial rule and the establishment of a new nation. However, the road to the American Revolution was a long and complex one, 
shaped by a range of factors that ultimately led to conflict between the colonies and Britain. The causes of the American Revolution and examine the key events and figures that shaped this pivotal moment in American history. In the years leading up to the American Revolution, tensions between the British colonies in North America and the British government continued to mount. Several key factors contributed to this growing sense of discontent, including British taxation policies. British authorities imposed a range of taxes on the colonies, including the Sugar Act, the Stamp Act, and the Townsend Acts. These taxes were seen as unfair and unjust by many colonists, who argued that they lacked representation in the British government and therefore should not be subject to taxation. The Boston Massacre In 1770, British soldiers fired into a crowd of colonists in Boston, killing five people. The incident sparked outrage and fueled anti-British sentiment throughout the colonies. The Boston Tea Party In 1773, a group of colonists disguised as Native Americans boarded a British ship in Boston Harbor and dumped its cargo of tea into the water, protesting against British taxes on tea. The British responded with the coercive acts, which further inflamed tensions between the colonies and Britain. The First Continental Congress In 1774, representatives from 12 of the 13 colonies met in Philadelphia for the First Continental Congress, where they discussed how to respond to British policies. While some delegates favored a peaceful resolution, others argued that the colonies should prepare for war. While the events outlined above were significant factors in the lead-up to the American Revolution, they were only part of a larger picture. Other key causes of the revolution included Enlightenment ideas the Enlightenment, a philosophical movement that emphasized reason and individualism, had a significant impact on many of the founding fathers of the United States. These ideas helped shape the principles of democracy, liberty, and equality that are central to the American Revolution. British Colonial Policies British policies such as the Proclamation of 1763, which prohibited colonists from settling west of the Appalachian Mountains, and the Quartering Acts, which required colonists to house British troops, further strained relations between the colonies and Britain. Colonial resistance. Colonists responded to British policies through acts of resistance, such as the formation of the Sons of Liberty, a group of colonists who opposed British taxation policies and other measures. The American Revolution was the culmination of a long and complex series of events, shaped by a range of factors including British taxation policies, acts of resistance by colonists, and Enlightenment ideas. While the causes of the revolution were varied, they ultimately led to the colony's decision to break from British colonial rule and establish a new nation based on the principles of democracy, liberty, and equality. The American Revolution remains a pivotal moment in the history of the United States and continues to inspire people around the world today. The war was fought between the 13 British colonies in North America and the British Empire from 1775 to 1783. It was a time of great turmoil with numerous key figures and events that played a significant role in shaping the outcome of the war. In this section, we will explore some of the most important individuals and events of the American Revolution. George Washington George Washington was one of the most important figures of the American Revolution. He was appointed as the Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army in 1775 and played a crucial role in leading the American forces to victory. Washington was known for his strategic brilliance and his ability to inspire his troops. His leadership was instrumental in securing the independence of the United States. Paul Revere Paul Revere was a silversmith and a member of the Sons of Liberty, a group of American colonists who opposed British rule. He is famous for his Midnight Ride in April 1775, during which he rode through the countryside warning the colonists that the British were coming. Revere's actions helped to mobilize the American forces and played a critical role in the early stages of the war. Battle of Lexington and Concord The Battle of Lexington and Concord was the first military engagement of the American Revolution. It took place on April 19, 1775, and marked the beginning of the war. British troops were sent to Lexington and Concord to seize a cache of weapons and ammunition that was believed to be stored there. However, the colonial militia was waiting for them, and a battle ensued. The Americans were outnumbered and outgunned, but they managed to hold their ground and inflict heavy casualties on the British. Declaration of Independence The Declaration of Independence was a document that was adopted by the Continental Congress on July 4, 1776. It declared that the 13 American colonies were no longer subject to British rule and that they were now free and independent states. 
The Declaration of Independence was a turning point in the American Revolution and marked the birth of the United States of America. Battle of Saratoga The Battle of Saratoga was a crucial victory for the Americans in 1777. The British had hoped to isolate New England by gaining control of the Hudson River Valley, but the American forces, led by General Horatio Gates, were able to prevent them from doing so. The British were forced to surrender, and the victory at Saratoga was a turning point in the war. It convinced France to provide military aid to the Americans, which was instrumental in securing the final victory. The American Revolution was a time of great upheaval and change. The key figures and events of the war played a significant role in shaping the outcome of the conflict. George Washington, Paul Revere, the Battle of Lexington and Concord, the Declaration of Independence, and the Battle of Saratoga were just a few of the most important individuals and events that shaped the course of the war. Without their contributions, it is unlikely that the United States would have become the great nation it is today. The Declaration of Independence and its Significance The Declaration of Independence, adopted by the Continental Congress on July 4, 1776, is one of the most significant documents in American history. It is considered the birth certificate of the United States and a symbol of American democracy, freedom, and human rights. The Context of the Declaration the Declaration of Independence was the result of the growing tensions between the American colonies and Great Britain. The colonies were dissatisfied with the British policies, such as taxation without representation, and began to organize themselves to demand more rights and freedoms. However, the British government responded with force, which led to the outbreak of the American Revolution in 1775. The Continental Congress, representing the 13 colonies, appointed a committee of five members, including Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and Benjamin Franklin, to draft a formal statement of their grievances against the British government and to declare their independence. The Content of the Declaration The Declaration of Independence consists of three parts, the preamble, the list of grievances against the British government, and the actual Declaration of Independence. The preamble is a statement of the principles of liberty, equality, and democracy that the American Revolution was fought for. It reads, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. The second part lists the specific grievances against the British government, such as taxation without representation, the quartering of British troops in American homes, and the violation of the colonists' rights to trial by jury. The Significance of the Declaration the Declaration of Independence was not just a declaration of independence from Great Britain, but a declaration of the universal principles of democracy, human rights, and self-government. It inspired other nations and people around the world who sought to achieve these same ideals. The Declaration also laid the foundation for the American Constitution, which established a government based on the principles of popular sovereignty, limited government, separation of powers, and individual rights. These principles have become the cornerstone of American democracy and have inspired democracies around the world. The Declaration of Independence is a significant document that represents the ideals of democracy, freedom, and human rights. It declared the independence of the United States from Great Britain, and it laid the foundation for the American Constitution, which established a government based on the principles of democracy and individual rights. The Declaration of Independence is a symbol of American democracy and has inspired people around the world to fight for their own rights and freedoms. The Continental Congress was a gathering of delegates from the 13 colonies that formed the first government of the United States during the American Revolution. The Founding Fathers, as they are commonly known, were the leaders who played a significant role in the creation of the United States of America. The First Continental Congress the First Continental Congress was convened in 1774 in response to the Coercive Acts, a series of punitive measures taken by the British government against Massachusetts after the Boston Tea Party. 56 delegates from 12 colonies, Georgia did not send any delegates, gathered in Philadelphia to discuss the colony's response to British actions. They agreed to a set of resolutions known as the Continental Association, which called for a boycott of British goods and the formation of local committees of safety to enforce the boycott. The Second Continental Congress The Second Continental Congress convened in May 1775, shortly after the outbreak of hostilities between British forces and American colonial militias at Lexington and Concord. This Congress served as the de facto national government of the United States throughout the Revolutionary War. 
It was during this Congress that the Declaration of Independence was drafted, debated, and ultimately adopted on July 4, 1776. The Founding Fathers The Founding Fathers were a diverse group of men who played a critical role in the creation of the United States of America. Among them were George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, and John Jay. These men were well-educated and well-versed in the political and philosophical ideas of the time. They were also deeply committed to the cause of American independence and worked tirelessly to achieve it. Contributions of the Founding Fathers The Founding Fathers made many significant contributions to the creation of the United States of America. George Washington, the first President of the United States, was the Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army and led the colonies to victory over the British. John Adams, the second president, played a significant role in the drafting of the Declaration of Independence and the negotiation of the Treaty of Paris, which ended the Revolutionary War. Thomas Jefferson, the third president, was the primary author of the Declaration of Independence and played a critical role in the drafting of the Constitution. Benjamin Franklin, one of the most famous founding fathers, was a brilliant inventor, scientist, and diplomat who played a key role in securing French support for the American cause during the Revolution. James Madison, the fourth president, was the primary author of the Constitution and is often referred to as the father of the Constitution. Alexander Hamilton, a Federalist and the first Secretary of the Treasury, played a crucial role in the early development of the American economy. John Jay, the first Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, negotiated the controversial Jay Treaty with Great Britain, which helped to prevent another war between the two nations. The Continental Congress and the Founding Fathers were instrumental in the creation of the United States of America. Through their dedication, perseverance, and commitment to the cause of American independence, they established a new nation founded on the principles of liberty, democracy, and justice. Their legacy lives on to this day and continues to inspire people around the world who strive for freedom and self-determination. The drafting and ratification of the United States Constitution is a crucial event in American history that established the framework of the government and the rights of the citizens of the United States. The Constitution was created as a response to the shortcomings of the Articles of Confederation, the first Constitution of the United States. In 1787, the Constitutional Convention was held in Philadelphia, where delegates from 12 states gathered to create a new Constitution. The delegates included some of the most prominent figures in American history, including George Washington, James Madison, and Benjamin Franklin. Over the course of several months, the delegates worked to create a constitution that would balance the powers of the federal government with those of the states and protect the individual rights of the citizens. The constitution that emerged from the convention was a groundbreaking document that established a federal system of government with three branches, the legislative, executive, and judicial. Each branch was given specific powers and responsibilities to ensure that no single branch became too powerful. The Constitution also established the principle of checks and balances, which means that each branch of government can limit the powers of the other branches. The drafting of the Constitution was not without its challenges. One of the most contentious issues was the question of how to apportion representation in Congress. The larger states wanted representation based on population, while the smaller states wanted equal representation. The compromise that emerged was the Great Compromise, which created a bicameral legislature with the House of Representatives based on population and the Senate with equal representation for each state. After the Constitution was drafted, it had to be ratified by the states. The Federalist Papers, a series of essays written by James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, and John Jay, were published to convince the public of the need for the new Constitution. The Constitution was ratified by nine states in 1788, and it went into effect the following year. The Constitution has been amended 27 times since it was ratified, reflecting the changing needs of American society. However, the principles of the Constitution have remained the bedrock of American government and have served as a model for democratic governments around the world. The drafting and ratification of the United States Constitution was a pivotal moment in American history that established the framework of government and the rights of the citizens. It was a product of compromise and negotiation among some of the greatest minds in American history, and it has stood the test of time as a model for democratic governments around the world. The Birth of a Nation, the Articles of Confederation and the Shift Towards Federalism The Articles of Confederation, adopted in 1781, served as the first constitution of the United States. 
However, the Articles proved to be ineffective in governing the new nation. The weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation paved the way for the shift towards federalism, a new system of government that would give more power to the federal government. Under the Articles of Confederation, the federal government had very limited powers. The government had no power to regulate commerce, impose taxes, or enforce laws. Each state had its own currency and trade regulations, which made it difficult to conduct business between states. Furthermore, the government had no executive or judicial branches, which meant that it was unable to enforce its decisions or settle disputes. The weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation were exposed during the Shays Rebellion of 1786 to 1787. The rebellion, led by Daniel Shays, was a series of protests against the high taxes and economic depression that had hit farmers in Massachusetts. The state government was unable to put down the rebellion, and this led to calls for a stronger central government that would be able to maintain law and order. In response to the weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation, a constitutional convention was held in Philadelphia in 1787. The delegates to the convention, including James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, and Benjamin Franklin, worked to draft a new constitution that would create a stronger federal government while still protecting the rights of the states and individual citizens. The United States Constitution, drafted at the convention, established a federal system of government with a separation of powers between the legislative, executive, and judicial branches. The Constitution also created a system of checks and balances that would prevent any one branch of government from becoming too powerful. The ratification of the Constitution was not without controversy. Some delegates, such as Patrick Henry, opposed the Constitution because they believed it gave too much power to the federal government and did not adequately protect the rights of the states and individual citizens. However, after a series of debates and compromises, the Constitution was ratified by the required nine out of 13 states in 1788. The shift towards federalism marked a significant change in the governance of the United States. The new system of government gave more power to the federal government, while still respecting the autonomy of the states. The Constitution created a stable framework for the government and allowed for the country to grow and develop over time. The weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation paved the way for the shift towards federalism, a new system of government that created a stronger federal government while still protecting the rights of the states and individual citizens. The drafting and ratification of the United States Constitution established a federal system of government with a separation of powers and a system of checks and balances that remains in place to this day. The birth of a nation marks the beginning of a new era in human history, as the United States of America became the first modern republic founded on the principles of republicanism, democracy, sovereignty, and human rights. These values were enshrined in the founding documents of the country, including the Declaration of Independence and the United States Constitution. Republicanism, the belief in the sovereignty of the people, was a guiding principle of the American Revolution and the founding of the United States. The idea was that the people, rather than a monarch or other ruler, should have ultimate power in the government. This principle was embodied in the Constitution, which established a system of government in which power is divided between the federal government and the states, with each having its own sphere of authority. Democracy, the belief in government by the people, was another central principle of the founding of the United States. The Constitution established a representative democracy, in which citizens elect representatives to make laws and govern on their behalf. This was seen as a way to balance the interests of the majority with the protection of individual rights and minority interests. Sovereignty, the belief in the ultimate authority of the state, was also an important principle of the American Revolution and the founding of the United States. The Constitution established a system of federalism, in which power is divided between the federal government and the states, with each having its own sphere of authority. This was seen as a way to balance the power of the central government with the rights and interests of the states. Human rights, the belief in the inherent dignity and worth of every individual, was also a key principle of the founding of the United States. The Declaration of Independence famously declared that all men are created equal, and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, including life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This principle was later enshrined in the Constitution and its Bill of Rights, which protect individual liberties and limit the power of the government. Overall, the principles of republicanism, democracy, sovereignty, and human rights were fundamental to the creation of the United States and continue to shape its government and society today. While the country has faced many challenges and struggles over the centuries, 
These values have remained central to its identity and its vision for the future. The United States of America was a new and unique nation in the world, and as such, it faced many challenges in its early years of governance. Despite the excitement and hope that came with the birth of the nation, there were numerous obstacles that needed to be overcome in order to establish a stable and effective government. One of the primary challenges facing the early United States was the issue of national debt. The American Revolution had been costly, and the new nation was left with a significant financial burden. The federal government struggled to find ways to pay off this debt, and many Americans were frustrated by the lack of progress. Another challenge was the establishment of a stable economy. The new nation was primarily agricultural, and the government needed to find ways to support this industry while also promoting other forms of economic activity. This led to debates over issues such as tariffs and the role of the federal government in regulating commerce. The early United States also faced significant foreign policy challenges. The nation was young and relatively weak compared to its European counterparts, and it had to navigate the complex relationships between these powerful nations. This led to tensions with countries such as France and Britain, which had different priorities and goals than the United States. In addition to these challenges, the new government also had to grapple with issues related to individual rights and freedoms. The Constitution and the Bill of Rights provided a framework for protecting these rights, but there were still debates over issues such as slavery and the rights of women. Despite these challenges, the early United States was able to establish a strong foundation for its government and society. The principles of democracy, freedom, and individual rights laid out in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights continue to serve as guiding principles for the nation today. The early years of the United States were marked by numerous challenges and opportunities as the country navigated its way towards becoming a world power. From the end of the Revolutionary War in 1783 to the turn of the 20th century, the United States underwent significant changes and developments that propelled it to the forefront of global politics and economics. In this article, we will explore the key events and factors that led to the United States becoming a world power. The Emergence of a Strong Economy one of the most significant factors that contributed to the emergence of the United States as a world power was its strong economy. Following the end of the Revolutionary War, the United States embarked on a period of rapid industrialization and economic growth. The country's vast natural resources, including fertile land, timber, coal, and oil, provided the foundation for a booming economy. The development of a robust transportation system, including canals, railroads, and steamships, allowed goods to be transported quickly and efficiently across the country, further fueling economic growth. Expansion and Manifest Destiny Another important factor in the emergence of the United States as a world power was its territorial expansion. In the early 1800s, the idea of Manifest Destiny, the belief that the United States was destined to expand its territory from coast to coast, gained widespread acceptance. The Louisiana Purchase of 1803, which doubled the size of the country, was followed by the annexation of Texas in 1845 and the Mexican-American War of 1846-1848, which resulted in the acquisition of California, Nevada, Utah, and parts of Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, and Wyoming. The expansion of the United States' territorial boundaries provided the country with new resources and markets, and established it as a dominant power in North America. Foreign Policy and International Relations as the United States continued to expand its territory, it also became increasingly involved in international affairs. The Monroe Doctrine, issued in 1823, declared that any attempt by European powers to colonize or interfere in the affairs of the Americas would be viewed as a threat to the national security of the United States. The doctrine signaled the country's emergence as a major player in international relations and established the United States as the dominant power in the Western Hemisphere. Throughout the 19th century, the United States continued to assert its dominance in the Americas, and also began to pursue an active foreign policy in other regions of the world. The development of the United States as a world power was a gradual process that spanned over a century. The country's strong economy, territorial expansion, and foreign policy all played key roles in establishing the United States as a dominant force in global politics and economics. Despite the challenges and obstacles that it faced along the way, the United States emerged as a world power and has continued to play a significant role in shaping the course of world events. The concept of manifest destiny and westward expansion in the early years of the USA. 
The concept of manifest destiny was a belief held by many Americans in the 19th century that it was their divine mission to expand westward across the continent, spreading American values and institutions along the way. This concept was fueled by several factors, including economic opportunities, the desire for land and resources, and a sense of national pride and identity. The idea of manifest destiny played a significant role in the expansion of the United States from its early years as a new nation. Beginning in the late 1700s and continuing through the mid-1800s, the United States acquired vast amounts of land through treaties, purchases, and wars with other nations. One of the most significant events of westward expansion was the Louisiana Purchase in 1803, which nearly doubled the size of the United States overnight. President Thomas Jefferson saw the acquisition of this land as essential to the country's growth and believed it would provide opportunities for settlement and commerce. As more and more Americans moved west, conflicts arose with Native American tribes who already occupied the land. The government often used force to remove these tribes, leading to violence and displacement. The Indian Removal Act of 1830 forced many Native American tribes to leave their ancestral lands and move west to reservations. The idea of manifest destiny also played a significant role in the Mexican-American War, which took place from 1846 to 1848. The United States believed it had the right to acquire more land, including California and New Mexico, which were then part of Mexico. The U.S. military won a decisive victory in the war and acquired these territories. Westward expansion was not without its challenges, however. Settlers faced harsh conditions, including harsh climates, disease, and conflict with Native American tribes. The government also struggled to establish law and order in these newly acquired territories, and it was not uncommon for settlers to take matters into their own hands. Despite these challenges, westward expansion and the concept of manifest destiny played a significant role in shaping the United States into the nation it is today. It brought new economic opportunities, expanded the country's borders, and allowed for the spread of American values and institutions. However, it also came at a cost, with the displacement and mistreatment of Native American populations and the perpetuation of the institution of slavery. The Louisiana Purchase was a monumental event in the early history of the United States of America. In 1803, the U.S. government purchased over 800,000 square miles of land from France, nearly doubling the size of the nation. The Louisiana Territory stretched from the Mississippi River in the east to the Rocky Mountains in the west and from the Gulf of Mexico in the south to the Canadian border in the north. The Louisiana Purchase was a significant milestone for the U.S. for a number of reasons. Firstly, it gave the country control over the Mississippi River and its vital trade routes, allowing for greater economic expansion and growth. Secondly, it opened up vast new territories for westward expansion, providing new opportunities for settlers and the promise of land and resources. Finally, it removed a potential military threat from a foreign power in the form of France. The Louisiana Purchase was also significant in terms of the relationship between the U.S. and its neighboring countries. The acquisition of the Louisiana Territory caused tension with Spain, which controlled the territory to the west of the Mississippi. However, this tension was eventually resolved with the adams onis Treaty in 1819, which set the western boundary of the Louisiana Territory at the Sabine River and established the U.S. border with Spanish-held Texas. The Louisiana Purchase was not without its critics, however. Many questioned the constitutionality of the Purchase, as there was no clear authority for the federal government to acquire new territory. Additionally, the acquisition of such a large amount of land raised questions about the future of slavery in the U.S., as the new territories were largely unsettled and could potentially upset the balance between free and slave states. Overall, the Louisiana Purchase was a transformative event in the early years of the USA. It provided a foundation for westward expansion, opened up new economic opportunities, and solidified the U.S. as a major power in North America. Its legacy can still be felt today, both in the physical boundaries of the nation and in the ongoing debates over issues such as territorial expansion and federal authority. The War of 1812 was a military conflict between the United States and Great Britain that took place from 1812 to 1815. The war was primarily fought over maritime issues and trade restrictions, but also had underlying causes related to American expansionism and British impressment of American sailors. At the start of the war, the United States was ill-prepared for military conflict, with a small and poorly equipped army and navy. 
Nevertheless, the United States was able to achieve some early victories, such as the naval battles of Lake Erie and Lake Champlain. However, the war ultimately ended in a stalemate, with neither side achieving a clear victory. The significance of the War of 1812 lies in its impact on American nationalism and foreign policy. The United States emerged from the war with a newfound sense of pride and confidence in its military capabilities, which helped to establish the country as a world power. Additionally, the war led to the expansion of American territory, as the Treaty of Ghent ended hostilities and restored the pre-war borders between the United States and British North America. The Monroe Doctrine, named after President James Monroe, was a foreign policy statement issued in 1823 that declared that the United States would not tolerate European intervention in the affairs of the newly independent nations of Latin America. The doctrine stated that any attempt by a European power to colonize or interfere with the internal affairs of any nation in the Americas would be viewed as a hostile act towards the United States. The Monroe Doctrine was significant in that it established the United States as a dominant power in the Western Hemisphere and asserted the country's authority over the affairs of other nations in the region. It also reflected a growing sense of American exceptionalism, which held that the United States was destined to lead and guide the rest of the world towards democracy and freedom. The doctrine remains an important part of American foreign policy to this day. The Industrial Revolution was a period of major economic, technological, and social change that took place in the 18th and 19th centuries. It began in Great Britain and soon spread to other parts of Europe and North America, including the United States. The impact of the Industrial Revolution on the United States was profound, and it transformed the country from an agricultural society to an industrial powerhouse. The effects of the Industrial Revolution on the United States, including its economic, technological, and social impacts. Economic Impacts The Industrial Revolution had a significant impact on the United States economy. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, the economy was primarily based on agriculture, with most people living in rural areas and working on farms. The introduction of new machinery and manufacturing techniques led to a shift towards manufacturing and industry which greatly increased productivity and efficiency. This led to a significant increase in economic output and wealth, with the United States becoming one of the world's leading industrial powers. Technological Impacts The Industrial Revolution was characterized by significant technological advancements that transformed the manufacturing process. New machines, such as the cotton gin, power loom, and steam engine, revolutionized the textile industry and allowed for faster and more efficient production. The development of the telegraph and railroad also greatly improved communication and transportation, making it easier to move goods and people across the country. These technological advancements helped to spur further economic growth and development. Social Impacts The Industrial Revolution had a profound impact on society in the United States. As manufacturing and industry grew, people began to move from rural areas to cities in search of employment. This led to the growth of urban areas and the development of new social classes, such as the working class and the middle class. The working conditions in factories were often harsh, and workers had little bargaining power, leading to the formation of labor unions and the fight for workers' rights. The Industrial Revolution also led to the development of new social movements, such as the women's suffrage movement and the abolitionist movement. Immigration Impacts the Industrial Revolution in the United States also had a significant impact on immigration patterns. The growth of industry and the need for labor led to an influx of immigrants from Europe and other parts of the world. Many of these immigrants settled in urban areas and worked in factories and other industries. This led to increased cultural diversity in the United States, as well as tensions between different ethnic and racial groups. The impact of the Industrial Revolution on the United States was significant and far-reaching. It transformed the country from an agricultural society to an industrial powerhouse, leading to increased economic output, technological advancements, and social change. However, it also had negative impacts, such as harsh working conditions and tensions between different groups. Overall, the Industrial Revolution was a critical period in American history and helped to shape the country into what it is today. Immigration has been an integral part of the United States' history, shaping its economic, social, and cultural landscape. The Industrial Revolution, which began in the late 18th century, fueled an increase in immigration to the U.S., with millions of people leaving their home countries in search of better opportunities. 
This article will explore the impact of immigration on the development of the USA during the Industrial Revolution. The Causes of Immigration During the Industrial Revolution The Industrial Revolution created a demand for cheap labor in the US. Many European countries experienced overpopulation, famine, and poverty during this time. Political instability, persecution, and religious oppression in Europe pushed many people to seek refuge in the US. The Impact of Immigration on the US Economy Immigrants were instrumental in the development of the US economy, providing cheap labor in factories, mines, and farms. The influx of immigrants led to a surge in population, increasing demand for goods and services. Immigrants also started their businesses, contributing to the growth of the U.S. economy. The Social Impact of Immigration on the U.S. Immigration led to the formation of ethnic enclaves in cities, with immigrants settling in neighborhoods with people from their home countries. The diversity brought about by immigration enriched American culture, introducing new foods, traditions, and languages. However, immigration also led to discrimination, with immigrants facing prejudice and hostility from native-born Americans. The Political Impact of Immigration on the U.S. Immigration contributed to the growth of cities, leading to the formation of political machines, which were influential in local politics. Immigrants also played a significant role in the labor movement, fighting for better wages and working conditions. However, the influx of immigrants also led to nativist movements, with native-born Americans fearing the loss of their jobs and cultural identity. Immigration Laws and Regulations During the Industrial Revolution The U.S. government implemented laws to restrict immigration during the Industrial Revolution, including the Chinese Exclusion Act and the Immigration Act of 1924. These laws were motivated by fears of cultural and economic threats posed by immigrants. However, Immigration continued to play a crucial role in the development of the U.S. despite these restrictions. Causes of the Civil War The causes of the Civil War are complex, with multiple factors contributing to the conflict. One of the primary causes was the issue of slavery. The North and the South had different economic systems, with the North's economy based on industry and commerce, and the South's economy based on agriculture, primarily cotton. Slavery was an essential component of the Southern economy, and many in the South believed that the federal government's efforts to restrict the expansion of slavery would undermine their way of life. Another significant cause of the Civil War was the issue of states' rights. The Constitution grants states certain powers and reserves others for the federal government. The South believed that the federal government was overstepping its bounds by interfering with states' rights, such as the right to own slaves. The North, on the other hand, believed that the federal government had the power to regulate slavery and other issues related to human rights. Consequences of the Civil War The Civil War had a profound impact on American society, politics, and economics. One of the most significant consequences of the war was the abolition of slavery. The 13th Amendment to the Constitution, ratified in 1865, abolished slavery throughout the United States. The war also led to the passage of the 14th and 15th Amendments, which granted citizenship and voting rights to African Americans. The Civil War also had a significant impact on the nation's Reconstruction. Reconstruction was the period after the war in which the federal government attempted to rebuild the South and bring it back into the Union. The Reconstruction era was marked by conflict and controversy, as the federal government attempted to balance the rights of African Americans with the interests of white Southerners. The period was characterized by violence, including the rise of the Ku Klux Klan and other white supremacist groups. The Civil War was a pivotal event in American history, with far-reaching consequences that continue to shape the nation today. The conflict was fueled by the issue of slavery and the question of states' rights, but it ultimately resulted in the abolition of slavery and the expansion of civil rights for African Americans. The war also had a profound impact on the nation's reconstruction, which was marked by conflict and controversy. While the legacy of the Civil War continues to be felt in American society, it also serves as a reminder of the importance of upholding the values of equality and justice for all. The Reconstruction Era was a period in American history that followed the Civil War. It aimed to rebuild the United States and restore it to its former glory. The Reconstruction Era faced significant challenges, including economic, social, and political issues. This article will examine the challenges that arose during the Reconstruction Era and how they impacted the United States. Challenges Faced During Reconstruction Political Challenges 
One of the significant challenges during the Reconstruction era was political instability. The country was divided into two factions, Republicans and Democrats. The Republicans wanted to rebuild the country and restore the rights of African Americans, while the Democrats opposed these efforts. This division led to political unrest, making it challenging to govern the country effectively. Economic Challenges The Reconstruction era saw significant economic challenges due to the destruction caused by the Civil War. The war destroyed homes, farms, and businesses, leading to a significant economic downturn. The government struggled to rebuild the infrastructure, and many people faced unemployment and poverty. Social Challenges The Reconstruction era was a challenging time for African Americans who were still fighting for their rights. The Emancipation Proclamation and the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments granted African Americans citizenship, freedom, and the right to vote. However, discrimination and segregation were still prevalent, making it challenging for African Americans to live a normal life. Resistance from Southern States The Southern States resisted the Reconstruction era's changes, particularly those related to African Americans' rights. They formed groups like the Ku Klux Klan to intimidate and harm African Americans. The resistance to change made it difficult for the government to implement policies aimed at promoting equality and civil rights. Consequences of the Reconstruction Era The Rise of Jim Crow Laws Despite the efforts to promote equality, the Reconstruction Era failed to achieve its goals. Southern states enacted laws known as Jim Crow Laws, which institutionalized segregation and discrimination against African Americans. These laws lasted until the Civil Rights Movement in the 1960s. The Solidification of the Two-Party System The Reconstruction Era solidified the two-party system that is still present in American politics today. The Republican Party emerged as the party of change and equality, while the Democratic Party became the party of resistance to change. Industrialization and Urbanization the Reconstruction era paved the way for the country's industrialization and urbanization. The government invested in infrastructure and transportation, which led to the development of cities and towns. This development created new job opportunities and contributed to the country's economic growth. The Reconstruction era was a challenging time for the United States. The country faced significant political, economic, and social challenges, which made it difficult to rebuild and restore the country. Despite the challenges, the Reconstruction era led to significant changes in the United States, including the abolition of slavery, granting of citizenship to African Americans, and the solidification of the two-party system. The Reconstruction era's legacy can still be seen today, particularly in the fight for civil rights and equality. The struggle for civil rights is one of the most important and impactful movements in the history of the United States. It encompasses a broad range of efforts by various individuals and groups to fight against racial discrimination, segregation, and inequality that existed both during and after the Civil War. This movement was driven by the belief that every person, regardless of their race, should be treated with respect, dignity, and fairness under the law. One of the most significant events in the struggle for civil rights was the Emancipation Proclamation, which was issued by President Abraham Lincoln during the Civil War. This document declared that all slaves in Confederate-controlled areas were to be freed. While it did not immediately end slavery, it paved the way for the eventual abolition of slavery and the eventual granting of citizenship and voting rights to African Americans. After the Civil War, the Reconstruction Era sought to rebuild and transform the country. It was during this period that significant strides were made towards the advancement of civil rights. The 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments were added to the Constitution, abolishing slavery, granting citizenship to all persons born or naturalized in the United States, and prohibiting states from denying citizens the right to vote based on race, color, or previous condition of servitude. However, despite these legislative victories, the fight for civil rights was far from over. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, Jim Crow laws were enacted throughout the South which enforced segregation and denied African Americans many basic rights and privileges. Additionally, the Supreme Court's decision in Plessy v. Ferguson upheld the constitutionality of separate but equal facilities, allowing for the continued segregation of public spaces. The civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s was a response to the ongoing discrimination and segregation faced by African Americans. The movement was characterized by nonviolent protests, civil disobedience, and legal challenges to discriminatory laws and practices. 
Leaders such as Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, and Malcolm X became symbols of the struggle for civil rights, inspiring millions to join the fight for equality. Through the efforts of the civil rights movement, significant progress was made towards the goal of achieving racial equality. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965 were landmark pieces of legislation that prohibited discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. These laws paved the way for the integration of schools, workplaces, and public spaces. The struggle for civil rights continues to this day, as there are still many areas in which inequality persists. However, the legacy of the movement is undeniable, and its impact on American society cannot be overstated. The civil rights movement paved the way for the advancement of other marginalized groups and set a precedent for social justice movements worldwide. The progressive era in the United States was a time of social, political, and economic reform that spanned from the 1890s to the 1920s. During this period, Americans witnessed significant changes in their government, society, and economy. The progressive era was characterized by a focus on social justice, political equality, and economic efficiency. In this article, we will explore the major reforms and movements of the progressive era. Progressive Era Reforms The progressive era was a time of reform in which many Americans sought to address the problems caused by industrialization and urbanization. The major reforms of this era can be divided into three categories. Social, political, and economic. Social Reforms Social reformers during the Progressive Era sought to improve the living and working conditions of Americans. They focused on issues such as child labor, women's suffrage, and public health. One of the most significant social reforms of this era was the campaign against child labor. Progressive activists argued that children should not be forced to work in factories or mines and should instead be allowed to attend school. In 1916, Congress passed the Keating Owen Child Labor Act, which banned the sale of goods produced by child labor across state lines. Another significant social reform of the progressive era was the women's suffrage movement. Women's suffrage activists sought to secure the right to vote for women. The 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which was ratified in 1920, finally granted women the right to vote. Political reforms. Political reforms during the progressive era sought to make government more democratic and accountable to the people. They focused on issues such as corruption, voter suppression, and government efficiency. One of the most significant political reforms of this era was the direct election of senators. Prior to the 17th Amendment, senators were elected by state legislatures. The 17th Amendment, ratified in 1913, allowed for the direct election of senators by the people. Another significant political reform of the progressive era was the initiative, referendum, and recall. These reforms gave citizens more direct control over government by allowing them to propose and vote on legislation, as well as recall elected officials who were not performing their duties adequately. Economic Reforms Economic reforms during the progressive era sought to regulate big business and improve the lives of workers. They focused on issues such as monopolies, consumer protection, and labor rights. One of the most significant economic reforms of this era was the Sherman Antitrust Act, which was passed in 1890. The Sherman Antitrust Act was designed to prevent the formation of monopolies and promote competition in the marketplace. Another significant economic reform of the Progressive Era was the establishment of the Federal Trade Commission (FTC). The FTC was created in 1914 to regulate business practices and protect consumers from unfair or deceptive advertising. Causes of the Great Depression The Great Depression was caused by a combination of factors, including the stock market crash of 1929, the overproduction of goods, and the unequal distribution of wealth. In the years leading up to the crash, the stock market experienced a period of rapid growth and speculation, leading to inflated stock prices. Many people invested in the market on credit, and when the market crashed, they were unable to pay back their loans, leading to widespread bankruptcies and economic instability. Additionally, the overproduction of goods led to a surplus of products, which in turn led to decreased demand and lower prices. Finally, the unequal distribution of wealth meant that the majority of the population did not have enough money to buy the goods being produced. Effects of the Great Depression The effects of the Great Depression were widespread and long-lasting. Unemployment rates soared, peaking at nearly 25% in 1933. This meant that millions of people were unable to provide for themselves and their families, 
leading to widespread poverty and hardship. Many people were forced to leave their homes and live in shanty towns called Hoovervilles, named after President Herbert Hoover, who was widely criticized for his handling of the crisis. The depression also had a significant impact on the global economy, as many countries relied on trade with the United States to support their own economies. The New Deal In response to the crisis, President Franklin D. Roosevelt's administration implemented a series of programs and policies known as the New Deal. The New Deal aimed to address the economic crisis and provide relief to those who were most affected by it. The programs included the establishment of the Civilian Conservation Corps, which provided employment to young men in environmental conservation projects, and the Social Security Act, which provided support for the elderly and disabled. The New Deal also included the establishment of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation (FDIC), which insured bank deposits and helped restore public confidence in the banking system. Impact of the New Deal The New Deal had a significant impact on American society and politics. It helped to stabilize the economy and provided relief to those who were most affected by the crisis. It also established new institutions and policies that continue to shape American society today, such as Social Security and the FDIC. The New Deal also had political implications, as it marked a shift in American politics towards greater government intervention in the economy and social welfare programs. The Great Depression was a period of economic hardship that had a significant impact on American society and the global economy. The New Deal was a response to the crisis, and it helped to stabilize the economy and provide relief to those who were most affected by it. The New Deal also established new institutions and policies that continue to shape American society today. While the Great Depression was a difficult time in American history, it also paved the way for significant social and economic reforms that have had a lasting impact on American society. Introduction World War II was a global conflict that lasted from 1939 to 1945. The United States, which initially tried to remain neutral, eventually joined the war after Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941. The war had a significant impact on the United States, both domestically and internationally. In this article, we will explore the United States' involvement in World War II and its impact on the country. The United States' Entry into World War II when World War II began in 1939, the United States tried to remain neutral. However, President Franklin D. Roosevelt knew that the war would eventually involve the United States. In 1940, Roosevelt signed the Selective Training and Service Act, which allowed the military to draft men for service. In 1941, the United States' involvement in World War II became inevitable. In December of that year, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, a naval base in Hawaii, which led to the United States declaring war on Japan. Germany and Italy, allies of Japan, declared war on the United States, which marked the country's entry into the war. The United States' Role in the War The United States played a significant role in World War II. The country's entry into the war helped turn the tide against the Axis powers, which included Germany, Italy, and Japan. The United States provided military and economic aid to the Allied powers, which included the United Kingdom, France, and the Soviet Union. The United States military contributed to the war effort by fighting on multiple fronts. The country's army and navy fought in the Pacific, North Africa, and Europe. The United States Air Force played a crucial role in bombing enemy targets, including cities in Germany and Japan. The United States' impact on the war The United States' entry into World War II had a significant impact on the outcome of the war. The country's military and economic aid helped the Allied powers overcome the Axis powers. The United States' ability to produce war materials, including planes, tanks, and weapons, was essential in the war effort. The United States' participation in the war also had a profound impact on the country's economy. The war created jobs, and the production of war materials stimulated the economy. The United States emerged from the war as a dominant economic power. World War I and the End of the Progressive Era The Progressive Era came to an end with the outbreak of World War I in 1914. During the war, the government took on a greater role in regulating the economy and managing the war effort. The war also led to significant social changes, such as the increased employment of women in traditionally male-dominated jobs. After the war, the Progressive Era continued to influence American society and politics. The 1920s saw the rise of new social and cultural movements, such as the Harlem Renaissance and the Flapper Movement. 
However, the reforms and movements of the Progressive Era laid the foundation for many of the social, political, and economic changes that would shape American society in the 20th century. The Impact of World War I on the USA World War I was a global conflict that lasted from 1914 to 1918. While the United States entered the war relatively late, its impact was significant, both in terms of the country's domestic politics and its position on the world stage. In this article, we will examine the impact of World War I on the United States, including its impact on the economy, society, and international relations. Economic Impact The United States entered World War I in 1917, and its economy was significantly affected by the war effort. The government increased taxes and borrowing, and it also implemented price controls and rationing to conserve resources. The war also stimulated economic growth, as businesses ramped up production to meet the demands of the military. The United States emerged from the war as a major creditor nation, as it had loaned significant sums of money to European countries during the war. However, the end of the war also brought a brief recession, as demand for military goods decreased. Social Impact World War I had a profound impact on American society. The country experienced a wave of nationalism and patriotism, as citizens rallied around the war effort. However, the war also led to the suppression of civil liberties, as the government passed laws to restrict free speech and dissent. This included the Espionage Act of 1917 and the Sedition Act of 1918, which criminalized anti-war speech and criticism of the government. The war also led to increased immigration restrictions, as many Americans became suspicious of foreigners and immigrants. International Impact The United States emerged from World War I as a major world power. Its involvement in the war helped to shift the balance of power in Europe, and it played a key role in negotiating the Treaty of Versailles, which ended the war. The United States also played a leading role in establishing the League of Nations, an international organization designed to promote peace and security around the world. However, the United States ultimately did not join the League of Nations, as many Americans were wary of getting involved in international affairs. World War I had a significant impact on the United States, both domestically and internationally. It stimulated economic growth and helped to establish the country as a major world power. However, the war also had negative consequences, including the suppression of civil liberties and increased immigration restrictions. The United States' role in the war and in negotiating the peace settlement helped to shape the country's position in the world for years to come. The Roaring Twenties, also known as the Jazz Age, was a period of cultural and social change that took place in the United States from the end of World War I until the onset of the Great Depression. It was a time of optimism, prosperity, and new opportunities, as well as a time of conflict and social tension. The Roaring Twenties witnessed a cultural revolution that had a lasting impact on American society and the world. One of the most significant cultural changes of the Roaring Twenties was the emergence of a new form of music, jazz. Jazz originated in New Orleans and quickly spread throughout the country, becoming a symbol of the era's newfound freedom and rebellion against traditional values. Jazz was popularized by musicians such as Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, and Bessie Smith, and became the soundtrack of the Roaring Twenties. Along with jazz, the Roaring Twenties was also a time of artistic and literary experimentation. The Harlem Renaissance, a cultural movement that emerged in the African-American community in Harlem, New York, showcased the talents of artists, writers, and musicians such as Langston Hughes, Zora Neale Hurston, and Duke Ellington. The movement celebrated black culture and challenged the racial stereotypes of the time. The Roaring Twenties also saw significant changes in fashion and lifestyles. Women's fashion changed dramatically with the introduction of shorter hemlines and looser clothing, symbolizing the newfound freedom and independence of women. The flapper became a popular cultural icon, representing the modern, liberated woman of the era. The Prohibition era, which outlawed the sale and consumption of alcohol, led to the rise of speakeasies, illegal drinking establishments that became a symbol of the era's rebellion against traditional values. However, the Roaring Twenties was not without its challenges and conflicts. The rise of nativism and xenophobia led to a backlash against immigrants and minorities, resulting in the passing of restrictive immigration laws and the rise of the Ku Klux Klan. The stock market crash of 1929 and the onset of the Great Depression brought an end to the prosperity of the era, leading to economic hardship and social unrest. The Roaring Twenties was a time of significant cultural and social change in the United States. 
It saw the emergence of jazz, the Harlem Renaissance, and the flapper, as well as significant changes in fashion, lifestyles, and attitudes towards traditional values. However, the era was also marked by social conflict and tension, and its legacy continues to be felt in American culture today. The Great Depression was a period of economic hardship that affected the United States and other countries around the world. It began in 1929 and lasted until the late 1930s, with the U.S. economy only fully recovering after the start of World War II. The New Deal was a series of programs and policies implemented by President Franklin D. Roosevelt's administration to address the economic crisis and its consequences. In this article, we will explore the causes and effects of the Great Depression, as well as the New Deal and its impact on American society. The Aftermath of the War The United States' involvement in World War II marked the beginning of the country's role as a global superpower. The country's economy had grown, and the military had become a formidable force. However, the war had also taken a toll on the country, and many lives had been lost. The United States' involvement in World War II also had an impact on the country's foreign policy. The country became more involved in international affairs, and its role as a leader in the world increased. Conclusion The United States' involvement in World War II was a significant event in the country's history. The war had a significant impact on the United States, both domestically and internationally. The country's entry into the war helped turn the tide against the Axis powers, and the United States emerged from the war as a dominant economic and military power. The war also marked the beginning of the country's role as a global superpower. The creation of the United States of America is one of the most significant events in world history. It marked the birth of a new nation founded on principles of democracy, freedom, and equality, and set the stage for the development of modern democracy worldwide. At its core, the American Revolution was a fight against tyranny and oppression. The colonists' determination to break free from British rule was fueled by a desire for self-determination and a belief in the fundamental rights of all individuals. These ideals, embodied in the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution, established a new framework for government that would shape the nation's development in the centuries to come. The formation of the United States also had a profound impact on world affairs. The new nation served as a beacon of hope and inspiration for people struggling for freedom and self-determination around the globe. Its political and economic systems became models for other nations seeking to establish democratic societies. The U.S. has played a key role in world events ever since its founding, from its involvement in World War II and the Cold War to its position as a global superpower in the modern era. Its leadership in the international community has helped to shape the course of history from its efforts to promote human rights and democracy to its response to global crises such as climate change and pandemics. Despite its many successes, the United States has faced its share of challenges and setbacks over the years. The struggle for civil rights, the devastating impact of the Great Depression, and the ongoing challenges of inequality and injustice serve as reminders of the work that still needs to be done to create a more perfect union. In reflecting on the historical significance of the creation of the United States, it is important to recognize both its triumphs and its failures. By embracing the ideals that have defined the nation since its founding and working to overcome the challenges that still lie ahead, we can continue to build a brighter future for all Americans and for people around the world. Throughout its history, the United States of America has experienced significant political, social, and economic changes. These changes have brought both challenges and opportunities for the nation, ultimately shaping its present and future. As we reflect on the history of the United States, it is essential to consider how the lessons learned can inform our present and shape our future. One of the most significant lessons from U.S. history is the importance of democracy and individual rights. The United States was founded on the principles of democracy, freedom, and equality, and these values have been central to the nation's identity ever since. Despite the challenges and obstacles that the country has faced in the past, democracy and individual rights have remained a cornerstone of American society. Another important lesson from U.S. history is the value of perseverance and determination. The United States has overcome numerous challenges throughout its history, from the Revolutionary War to the Civil Rights Movement. Through hard work, determination, and a willingness to adapt and change, the nation has been able to overcome these challenges and emerge stronger and more resilient than ever. Looking to the present and future, there are several implications that we can draw from the history of the United States. First, we must continue to value and protect our democracy and individual rights. 
This means that we must remain vigilant against threats to these values, including attacks on the freedom of the press, the right to vote, and the independence of our judicial system. Second, we must be willing to embrace change and adapt to new challenges. As the United States continues to face new economic, political, and social challenges, we must be willing to adopt new strategies and policies to address them. This may require significant changes in how we approach issues like healthcare, education, and the environment. Finally, we must remember the importance of unity and a shared sense of purpose. Throughout its history, the United States has achieved great things when its citizens have come together to work towards a common goal. As we look to the future, we must continue to find ways to bridge the divides that separate us and work towards a shared vision of a more prosperous and just society. The history of the United States is a story of challenges and triumphs, of setbacks and progress. By reflecting on this history and the lessons it teaches us, we can build a brighter future for ourselves and for future generations. By valuing democracy and individual rights, embracing change and adaptability, and promoting unity and a shared sense of purpose, we can continue to build on the legacy of the creation of the United States of America and chart a course towards a more prosperous and just society.